Hello, my name is Jessica Morton and I am the fifth grade math teacher. This is my fourth year at Christ Church and I'm also part of a Christ Church family. My husband is a graduate, as is my oldest son, and I also have twins that are currently in eighth grade. So I first want to talk about, um, to look at the topics that we're going to cover this year. You can see we cover a wide variety of things. The one the kids tend to get most excited about is the algebra that they get to learn for the first time. So we operate out of a three ring binder. So in this binder, the first thing you'll see is the syllabus. So if there's any questions about that, it's always there to refer back. Then we have our multiplication practice. So one of the things we're going to work really hard on this year is mastering our multiplication tables. So we're starting by having multiplication checks every Wednesday. And so I've sent home some practice um, for them to work on each week. Also, we have guided notes and practice pages. So each day when I do my math lesson, I give the students guided notes. And so these are notes that they will keep in their math binder. And they are partly written by me and partly um, such that they fill them out as we go through the lesson. And then following that, they'll have their practice pages, which we start in class. And if they don't finish, they finish it up for homework. But everything they need to do their homework should be right there in um, their math binder. So their final grade is composed of these five parts. We have tests and quizzes, and the quizzes are meant to be practice for the test. And so um, it'll give them an indication of what they need to study more and what they already know pretty well. The IXL is an online program that we will uh, be giving to the children once they get their Chromebooks. So they'll do IXL for math and for science, and they'll have their own password and they'll know how to log in. Um, so that is forthcoming, more information to come on that. So the classwork grade is um, when I give grades for things that we do in class. Um, an example of that would be our multiplication checks that we're gonna be doing uh, each Wednesday. And then the participation preparation grade, that is um, a grade where everyone starts the semester with 100. And then each time they forget to bring something to class, um, meaning they're not coming prepared, then I deduct five points. So they can miss twice and still have a 90, so have an A. Um, but any more than that, you know, that grade can get down. So it's just a way to encourage them to remember to bring their things to class. So Schoology is an important part of um, my class as well because it's the way that I communicate with you. So that's where I will be posting grades and upcoming assignments, and um, that is always up to date. So it's a great uh, place to know what's coming. Also, um, I post instructional videos. So if there's a topic that's um, difficult for your child, they can um, look on there and see videos, and I've made them myself, so they are just like I've taught it in class, and they can watch that at their own pace um, to review what we did in class that day. And I also post copies of study guides um, or blank copies of old quizzes just to provide them extra things to um, practice to study for their quizzes and their test. And it's also how I'll communicate with you. I'll communicate through Schoology. So as I mentioned, I post all the assignments um, that we have coming up on Schoology, but also I write them on the board in class. And so when the children get their agendas, they'll be able to write down their assignments and keep them there as well. We count off 10 points each day that an assignment is late. That's a policy across the board in fifth grade. And when we do start our IXL, um, that is something that will be due at 3.30 on the day that it is due. So it's due at the end of the day um, on whatever day it is due. So the best way to reach me is through Schoology or um, on my email that's right here. And I try to get back as soon as I can. Just know that when I'm teaching, I am not checking email, but I will get back to you by the end of the day. So thank you for your support at home. And I look forward to working with you and your children in math this year.